guys okay. I gotta set the video first so yeah I gotta set this first or else I just remove the case I the case for the second option this is not hard at all there we go yeah that's gonna work it's not gonna work it's weird so basically so I'll try to do is well try to install windows phone sevens you know windows phone seven and lock but first i gotta set the camera angles because the camera angles here are super bad um it's just that i can't see it and uh, well well i, do, I gotta set this up with the video now so yeah this should work okay guys so basically Basically, we're going to install the Windows Phone 7 lock from Brazzaville, so, yeah. So, we're going to go to this XDA forum. And yes, I know the camera angle is bad, but you got to bear it. So, yeah. So, I'll try OneDrive.ms. And this is not a 2, I saw 2022. Oh, okay. So, here we are. Here we are, it's loading, but it's not. For some reason, the internet is just really slow. Like, you know, when you plug this in. It's just super slow to load the files. So you can go unlock emulator, lock emulator, lock emulator. So you can try the well, the middleman first. But the one is going to 7003. I don't know where to download this actually. Um, first of all, I do not want to have MZ to download. That would be a bad idea. So first, go to Chrome settings. This is settings. It's already, it's already taking a while in settings. So we want to go ask where to save, and then now we can download. It takes. I clicked on it. Let's click again. There we go. That should work. There we go. So. I will try to create a new folder. Right there it is kicking in. I don't think that we have a lot of space for this. We only have 36 gigabytes of system, so that's okay. We still have like, like 30 plus gigs to spend on. Okay, folder. I'm gonna name this Windows Phone. Seven, so that's where we're gonna put the unlock emulator. And uh, it's already downloading. Control J. And uh, I will just cut to the when it's finished part because I'm not gonna make you wait like, I don't know. I'm not gonna make you wait like three minutes for this. So yeah, I gotta pause this video. So I don't know why, but for some reason, it just went on an hour and back to like nine minutes left, and now it's like a five minutes. Now that's weird. Oh yeah, see a hard drive indicator right there. They had uh, slow the space. No, it's on. It's on a drive called Storage G, or basically, God, I just clicked on it. Oh my goodness. So it's on here. It's this, oh my god, it only has like 8 megabytes free. It's that very red volume. Yep. Adjust it. Yeah, it's that 8 meg, it's that, it's that very red volume right there. Yeah, it only has 8 megabytes free. They really, they really tried. They, they can never put... You can never put anything on here and you're like this is important this is where you put your stuff in come on you still have 35 gigabytes free look at this i want to format it there's a lot of data here 
this. Look at the diagram. I gotta do this. I gotta do this because, you know, just to check. But as you can see, it's literally filled. No compress though. You try to compress it. Save the space. Click OK, then level. That's everything. Why it changes to the G? Oh, I don't wanna It'll take five hours. I won't take 24 hours to do every file. Um, you gotta refresh. If you look, Control R. Oh, it's still like 8 megabytes. Compression is just stinking every single byte. It doesn't look like it made a difference. You cannot store any more files in here. It's just a jump pack for now. So I guess com compressing. I guess compressing is the only option here. And but who knows? This is broken. Oh my god, it's so slow. I want to now compress everything. Look at how big. Look at how. Look at this. That's the uh, usable space. <laughs> it's a freaking line. You can't even see the line. This thing. Use space 115860741056 bytes. That's like the classic big X. Recycle window only has 2 megabytes, so you have 10. 115860385792 bytes used, or 107 gigabytes. It's already big. How defragged is this? How defragged is this? You can try to call me that, but that's for me now. I don't need it. And I don't know why there a backup in there. I think this has a backup, so yeah. Um, there's no defragment window. Defragment again. Here it is. It is one percent fragmented. Oh, scheduled defragmentation is turned on. Okay. So every every Wednesday, it's gonna defrag at one a.m. I don't know why. This is supposed to be turned off at 1 a.m. You're still sleeping. It's already midnight. Okay. Oh, am I recording? Oh, yeah, it was. I'm so dumb. Why was I? Why didn't I notice that? Okay, the download should be done now. So, I should show in the folder. And, yeah. Sorry if I talked shooting. I mean, shoot in that. Okay, like shooting, I meant like, you know, basketball shoot. Okay, okay here it is. Basically, control, hmm, it was. I want to extract all of this to. Here it is, okay. So we gotta extract this. Oh, yeah, fun fact this, win this window has arrow basic in it, and it, and it will stay, like, like arrow basic will still be there if you're still on Windows 11, 10, 8, and you know, 8, 8, 8.1, 10, and 11. It will still have the same exact arrow, arrow basic thing because for some reason Windows is built like that. It's a fallback thing. You can definitely see this when you try to install Windows, Windows uh, 8. But <coughs> in Windows 10, I think it just uses fake arrow. Okay, most of the setup is fake arrow. So yeah. okay, it's extracted and it's on here. And I think there's okay, there's a redo. So it takes a while. Um, why is a? It's called a txt file, and it's trying to open paint. What the hell are these file out associations? Open with notepad. Oh my. I like the font. This is the zip for Windows 7 and Build 703 and the emulator for it. Use it for the steps. Okay. Uh, it will take about 53 gigs. Warning, this only works on out damn it. I never noticed that. What if you try? No, that's sad. Uh, control shift escape. Oh, brother, this only has a 32 bit processor. P Dog! P Dog! Okay, uh, Win R and we can try. What is this? Uh, control system. No, it'll never work. <laughs> go, 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 go
control system. That should work. Oh my god, it did. Yeah, well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a 3.4. And it's a 32 bit OS, but, uh, not supported. <laughs> Get new edition. Get more features than you. Oh my god, it actually works. Oh no no. Oh it's gonna fail. Why is the close button? <laughs> well no sitting time up here doesn't work. No. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And turn off the I don't know what it is. Just looping around. Yeah, but we have 32 bit OS. Wait, 32 bit OS with no 64 already? No. Intel Salon for yeah, 2 gigahertz. <laughs> well, well, we can try, okay? Well, what's LX IXPBM? Is it the auto run? The auto run worked. <laughs> auto run is the setup file, I think. No, auto run, auto run. Uh, yeah, here's the issues with the. I punch it and then it works. Don't tell me it's open those. Okay. I am not touching that. Okay. okay. Here it is. Accept all. And install all. Okay. This is gonna take a while. Oh my god, we're back again with Windows Phone Developer Tools. So, yeah. I can try to do this on my main computer. I no as like actual actual hardware, not in like a virtual machine. Don't run slow, but no, I can't. We need also like a driver for it. But well, the drivers are let's just say unsupported already. It Intel UHD graphics, of course. So not like like Intel HD graphics as as my old Windows 10 laptop had. When there's CSM, there has to be drivers for it. Well, I guess I'll see you. I'll see you until this finishes. I know bad camera angle, so. But later. Right now, this stuck on Net Framework 4 setup. I think it's stuck like that. So it has literally just started screen saving. So, like, so yeah, hold up. So, yeah. It locks my computer, so okay. Remember, okay. So now it says I gotta restart my computer. So let's restart. I also leave this out for nostalgia. Is it to restart? Oh. So. So this is for the nostalgia. Oh yeah, you did it. <laughs> oh, this is the first nostalgic boot process. Okay. 
Okay, so it's launching the setup. I'll be right back with you guys. We have pause this video. <laughs> okay, guys, so the installation is finished. I'll now do this. So, um, so basically, you're gonna go to exit and then. I'm gonna read the, the readme file because I'm, I always forget. And yes, it, this is slow. So basically, yeah. It's done installing. It, take, it took a while, but it's okay. Let's now see if this ROM works on 64 bit. I mean 32 bit. Again, that same error that paint is trying to open it. But that's okay. We can just do notepad. And yeah, uh huh. Let me show you target box. So yeah, this is gonna. This is a very long file. So this is a very long thing. So what I'll do is set this up first of all. Sorry. I still have to do something Yeah, that's why it's so, so loppy. I mean, my hand. So, we're actually done. Now, we should just launch the XDE. So, I can just try to launch the XDE the emulator. And this looks like it's gonna work. So, yeah. Oh my god. I spent way too much time in here. This is a 17 minute video. So, yeah. Oh my god. Guys, it actually looks like this is gonna work. Can't believe it. Yes, it actually works, guys. Can Shut up. So oh my god. There. And there we go. Maybe not working. Okay. And the emulator does work. I can't believe it. You can go even calculator. Just one simple one plus one. Damn it! Eleven, nice. You gotta click on it. There we go. One plus one. Yes, it works too. This is nice. I can't believe it, guys. Now I have a fully working copy. And how do I scroll? So number scroll. We can't. We can't scroll. Ah. Uh oh. So we can go through life for example. I just try to plug in a mouse. Hold up. Got it, I'll just plug it into the third port. Huh? Okay. Oops, I'm actually having trouble with it. So I use two? Yeah. I gotta unplug the... So unplug the... Uh, the PVC, PVC USB. I'm in the PVS mouse, quote unquote. And this should work. Of course, if you get focus on it. Oh, that's weird. Scrolling doesn't work. Oh, you drag. Okay. So, yeah. It's not really that unlocked, but... Phew! That is... A long time. And as you can see, here's the about. It's called... Microsoft X Device Emulator. Software's one of phone seven total storage one gigabyte available storage one point eight gigs and yeah twenty ten and then we can even go to more info here's the information it's only the OS version that matters so everything is just zero point zero point zero point zero so so yeah guys it is definitely misleading this does work on sixty four this does work on 32-bit Windows versions. As you can see, 
You can even go start menu and it does work. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, you'll never enjoy it because I post crappy things anyway. So, yeah. That's all, guys. Yeah, so, I'll now terminate this. So, so here's the documentation. It says that this only works on 64 bit Windows 7 systems, but it does work on 32 bit Windows 7 systems. So, yeah, guys. Goodbye. This, this has been that. That warning has been debunked now, so, yeah. So, yeah, guys. Phew. So, yeah. Whew, that was a very long way. 20 minutes. So, yeah, guys. Goodbye.